Ages Five Day Challenge, where we are digging deep into a groove cart. Now we have come a long way, and we are over the hump, and we are winding, coming down just to wind it up. Just one more day, and we are working on our groove cart today. We've already started, so if you have not uh, started building your cart, just look at the previous video. Uh, day three is when we started building the cart, and we're going to continue on building today. Now, our trainer here is none other than Peter from New Zealand. He's an expert trainer from Groove Ages Five Day Challenge. He focused on e-commerce. That is his jam. That is what he does. That is what he is an expert in. He's been doing e-commerce since 2007. So he has expertise in Amazon, Etsy, eBay. Those were some of the first uh, platforms that he worked with. So right now he has brought all his knowledge and expertise over here into the Groove Asia community to help you build your stores in Groove Cart. The build them in Groove Cart. And not only just building the store, but picking the niche, picking the products, and just laying it all out. So he is definitely the perfect guy to help you understand Groove Cart and just e commerce in general. So join us for an exciting session where Peter's background and his skills will merge in together. They're all coming make learning about groove cart very easy very fun and welcome to the stage peter thanks karen thank you <laughs> uh great to be here again i'm actually excited about today because we're going to get into the the real sort of um meaty stuff if you like um turn your webcams on if you if you can and um uh so i can see you all all right so when, where are we left hang on i'm just going to see who's in the where are we here? We've got um, Brooke, thanks for being here. We've also got Dr. Dr. Lisa, Chanel, and Tyler. Awesome to have you guys. All right, I'm just going to share my screen while I remember. Here we go. Hopefully, everybody can see that. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so uh, where we left off, let's just go back there. I, um, I think I remember that we were doing the um, the overlapping on with the image, and um, I needed to do the transparency and all that. Well, since then, I mean, I've just sort of like, uh, I didn't actually really have time looking for images um, when we were going through it yesterday, but I've actually uh, grabbed a few images from a site I use, and... Um, and I've sort of tidied it up a wee bit. So where I'm gonna share where I am now. So here we go. Um, we got down to around about here, obviously different image. Uh, so uh, I've actually just changed it all. Um, now, there's one thing that I didn't cover in, um, and I should have covered, but when you're looking for images, especially for your hero image, Try and get something with the headline or with the the you know with with the head kind of looking downwards, and you know preferably to the left, to your left, um, just so that it actually sort of it draws the eye down towards that way, and then we start going down the page. It's just a psychological thing. So um, if you can find images like that um, that actually suits your your product, then you know uh, try and sort of keep that in mind. When you're actually uh, doing a header image now this is ob obviously called above the fold uh, let's just go to the live view because it's probably a little bit better okay so that's the live view so that part there is called above the fold which is kind of like if you resembles resembles um a newspaper right and um you know you always see above the fold they're folded and you always see like the headline and stuff like that that's what it's supposed to um um resemble which also, you know, if you've got a great headline there or um, image or whatever, it also draws the attention and it wants them to actually um, get the paper and, and read it. Same principle, same principle with this, right? Um, you see, you see that the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see the, the header image or above the fold, and then below the fold is everything else you want them to see. Uh, I also actually went ahead and just sort of did a, a bit of a logo. Uh, I stuck it in there. And um, so uh, I sort of went ahead of myself on that one. But 
the thing is, was that you guys will still have to come up with a logo anyway. And all I did was actually I did that one in, in Canva, and I did a couple of uh, a couple of logos that um, you know I thought I might use. So I'm just going to quickly show you. I think it's important that you got you um, uh, you guys kind of sort of like um, see what I do, uh, just so that you can get an idea what you can do. All right, so here's some of my logo. These are actually in Canva, obviously. All right, so I kind of started out with sustained shades because I actually found a site yesterday, which I think you guys might uh, might be interested in, and it it's, um, it sells sunglasses, and they sell uh, eco friendly ones as well, and um, they they're actually quite sort of like uh, funky ones and all all types of ones, which I think is really cool. These guys are actually um, wholesalers as well as drop shippers. And um, the pricing's not too bad, all right? And you could actually make a good profit on 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 uh, these sunglasses. I'll show you the site soon. But I I went with uh, sustained shades, and um, obviously I I kind of wanted to keep them with that sort of pink theme. And um, so I actually that's what I I didn't end up with sustained shades, and in fact I ended up with funk my shades, all right? Um, and that's the name, and it's actually available. The domain is actually available. For eleven dollars ninety eight um, per, per year, so uh, funkmyshades.com. I used to actually have a website quite a few years ago, back in I think it was two thousand and eleven. I can't remember, um, and it was called Funk My Phone. But the phone wasn't spelled like how you would normally spell it; it was spelled with an F instead of a PH. And uh, so it was funkmyphone.com, and it was pretty funky um, looking. Uh, phone cases, and I'm thinking about bringing that back up again, bringing it back in again. So, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Funk, funk my shades. It's a bit, uh, I thought it was too. Uh, then I played around with this guy here, and I thought, oh, you know, like maybe I'll do a gorilla, have a gorilla there with um, some shades on, but it didn't look that great when when I stuck it up there. And I'll just quickly show you. Uh, so, if you can see here. Um, yeah, it didn't stand out as much as this one here stood out. Okay. All right, so um, this let's um, start off from where we left off yesterday, and I'm going to go into the back end here. All right. So there's a few things that I'm, I'm going to get rid of. This one here, we don't actually need that there. Um, so we're going to get rid of that. We're going to delete that. And makes us look a little bit more uh, better because it hasn't got that wider or that um, that you know the wider uh, sort of like um, space there. Um, as you can see, I'll put the glasses in there. They actually do uh, custom print-on glasses as well. All right, um, not not really as a drop shipper. You can buy lots of I think it's twenty-five with um, your brand on it if you want. Okay. Uh, or instead of having it on the on the glasses on the lens and as well as on the um, the arms, um, you can have it on the it's it's the it's it's not the case it's the um, the bag that they put them in. All right, you can put it on there as well. Um, this image here, I want to I want to kind of sort of like steer you guys down to um, you know somewhere where you can get good quality images and where you can get a whole variety of it and i think it's well worth them um, the money spent on it uh, but this was one of the images and as you can see so this glasses these glasses are actually from the website that um are selling the glasses this image has got nothing to do with these glasses but i, I found it through a site i normally use and um it was close enough i mean it you know it gives that sort of like um uh impression that he's got glasses like these so um i thought that was a great image to put in there and uh i'll show you the site this is the site that i think you would be you know it would be really good for you to actually uh, hook onto they've got a deal at the moment which is well they've had this for a while now 100 images for 80 dollars, and believe me you won't get through that um that quick uh, and the other thing is, is that once you do that, so this is not a subscription-based thing, right? You can get a hundred images for eighty dollars, and um, there you can get um, quite sort of high-resolution images. Some of them you can actually get the vector files as well. 
But the other thing that comes along with it is, is these tools here. You've got a background remover for um, images. You've got a, a video background remover. So you've got all those. You've got a logo make, maker and all that sort of thing. So there's a, a lot of different things here that you can have access to as well. All right. So it's well worth the money, especially if you want to get a really good effect on your on your homepage when it comes to images. All right, let's go back here. Okay, so uh, there's a few things that we're gonna we're gonna go through today. Obviously, I haven't the only text that I've changed is really that where it's got my um my uh, uh, domain name, um, and I've just left all the other text uh, for later. So one one thing is is that this button here. I want to I want to keep that button. I don't want to I want to use that button um, again and again and again throughout my uh, website, and uh, it it might say shop now. It might say get yours now doesn't matter but i want to keep that same sort of style of button all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on here and i'm going to add that as a uh, a favorite if you like um i'm going to new category category name i'm just going to go button or buttons all right and blocks name we'll just go uh shop now and then we'll just save Right, because at some point I want to get I want to get back. I want to get that back. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. It's probably best if you've got a link in there before you save it, which I don't. Um, so do that as well. Okay. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you how you could uh, save a feature or save a uh, an element so that you can reuse it um, down the page, like here. Okay. So if I want to um, replace this one here. And uh, let's just say I want to get rid of that. And then I'm just going to go to blocks and my blocks. And there it is there. And I just want to pop it in there. Hang on. Yeah. Oh. These drag and drop things. Oh, I think I've got to go outside of it. Okay, here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this one here, and then I'm just going to center this. Okay, so you can see what I mean. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to recreate it, but I, I, I would suggest that you add the link in there that goes to, like, maybe the category page or whatever, or the products page, but add the link in there, or... You know, you can just leave it, just have the style of the of the button with the wording on it, and then you can just do the link individually because you might want it to go to individual pages, all right? So um, that's a good way to kind of like um, make things a little bit more quicker when you're building out. All right, now let's go back to what, what we were following yesterday, and it was this one here. Um, this was the site that we were following. So we kind of done this one here. We've done... We've done the um, the uh, you know the the header image. One thing I'm just going to refresh this because there's one thing in here that um, we won't be able to replicate at the moment, and it's this here. Once I refresh it, you'll see what I mean. It's the animation side of it when the letters come in, right? When the words come in, um, that it, we won't be able to replicate. However, if we were doing it in Groove Pages, we could because we've got all those kind of features available, the animation side of it. All right, um, if you can recall on the other side, we had this part here, I had the sunglasses with the title up here and down here, and then we had um, another title with, with a uh, subtitle, and then I had the button here. And then we got to that image with the uh, overlapping image on it. So, um, you know, we're not doing it exactly to this, we're just following it, it's just a guide. And at some point, you may not actually keep using this layer. You might you might actually end up liking the fact that, hey, you know what? I actually um, kind of like the layout that I've got at the moment. I've done, I've sort of copied the other one so far, and I think I'm going to, you know, stay with the rest of the layout. You can do that. There's not a hard and fast rule to copy something exactly. Um, but yeah, okay. So um, keep that in mind. Uh, having said that, there was kind of like a um, uh, a section here that had kind of 
like an infographic type sort of um, image with, you know, things pointed to it. I did actually create one, um, and I'm going to put that in there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, I'm going to add a uh, block. And I'm just going to go global. I'm just going to grab a block, any block that's actually just the full image. And um, I think I might use this one here. All right. So we're not going to use that image, obviously. I'm probably even not going to use this text, but that, that text there kind of um, keeps the height of it. But we can still change that with the spacing. I'm just going to, I am uh, going to just delete that. And then I'm going to go onto the image. And it's here. Delete that. And then upload the next image, which I made. Mm, that, that one there. Okay, you can see it had the background color. We don't really want that background co color um, or overlay color, I should say. But if we're trying to keep them with the pink theme, we can actually go something that's kind of pink, right? So I can go maybe, I don't know, mount about, let's try that. And it'll give it a bit of a tinge of pink, but we can control that by just, you know, listening to the transparency, if you like. All right, so now you can see it's actually not wide enough. So we need to adjust the spacing. And let's just go down here. And... We're going to go inside the, um, the the block, if you like, not on the outside, but on the inside, so that we can actually widen it like that. And we'll actually, that's probably now you can see how that's actually um, too big. I'm going to go back up here, and then I'm just going to go contain. And you know what? I am going to take that pink out. I'm not going to have that overlay. So I'm just going to click on it, and I'm just going to go. Um, Transparent. All right. All right. So let's just have a quick look at that. These glasses, they actually do sell, by the way. <laughs> um, press the page. All right. So we kind of got that sort of info, infographic thing going on, right? Um, and it's it's purely pointing out that um, the frames are actually. Um, Recycled polyester uh, RPC, um, and then it's got recycled um, uh, lens, if you like. It's made out of recycled material, and the um, it's got the hundred percent UV uh, protection category three. So I just thought I'd just you know make it a little bit more, um, uh, not be too sort of kind of like uh, formal with the with the whole sort of infographics. Um, just sort of put that in there because really I'm trying to actually attract. The younger generation, as well as the middle gener uh, middle age generation. I mean, you know, like the older ones may not be into some of these glasses. I don't know, but um, there are some actually other glasses that you would normally get it anywhere else anyway. Uh, and I'll show you the site soon. So that's what I've gone and done. And I'm going to go back here. I'm going to add a bit more spacing, I should think. I've gone the I've gone the mix, so I can't. So if you go the mix, then you can actually um, start to go on the outside. I only actually want to add a bit more space or a bit more gap to the top of that image, and so I'm going to go on the outside of the um, of the of the border there, and I'm just going to adjust that. I think that's enough. I like to keep checking things as I go, so saving it and checking it just to make sure that it looks okay before I move on to the next part. And it's quite easy to do that with the uh, simple save button and then just go refresh the page. Whereas in, um, in Groove Pages, you have to go on the preview um, and that sometimes does, it doesn't allow different things to uh, function because it's just a preview. So you have to publish it to sort of get a good idea. And it's a bit of a long process. Whereas with GrooveCart, you save and then refresh the um, the uh, page so that looks good i think that looks good i'll probably put a title above that at some point so i'm going to go and back in here actually, i think i've just lost where did i go i actually i know here we go 
I'm going to go back in here and I'm, I'm going to add a title above there. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this one. I'm not going to, you know, drag and drop another uh, block in there. Now, when you duplicate, this will come up, okay? And it's asking you, do you want to duplicate it to a different page or do you want to duplicate it to this page? And I want to duplicate it to this page. So I'm just going to go here, the left, and then I'm going to duplicate it. And then all I'm going to do is just drag and drop down below the other way. Here we go. Here. All right. And probably could do with a little bit of spacing above that. Not much. Cool. So I'll, whatever title I'll use on there, I'll go back to that later. Okay, so now we've got here, we've got, um, I thought I'd leave this, um, like I won't leave the images, but I'd leave this layout. And um, I'm going to say men's sunglasses and I'm going to, or men's glasses and, and women's glasses. So I've already got images for that. So I'm going to change those out. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on here. Uh, three dots, actually, no, here on the settings. On the settings, yeah, on the settings. So this is a little bit different. If I just click off that, I'll click off that. And this is a little bit different to uh, group pages. So when you click on an image, right, and because this is actually part of a two-column uh, container, if you like, you click on the settings, um, and then you have to actually go on the three dots to actually get to the image, and then go to edit, right. And this is where you can find the image. You have to delete it before you can replace it. There's no option to replace it without deleting it. So we're just going to delete. And then I'm just going to upload an image that I've done. Uh, let me see where which ones did I use. Okay, cool. Uh, this one here. Right. There. It's that one image there, so we've got that one there, and I'm going to do this one here. All right, so you can kind of see I'm trying to trying to stick them with that theme to try and attract the, I guess the younger generation. You know, even the appeals to the, like the 30s, 40s, you know, and even 50s. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm just trying to sort of appeal to that market. So it is, it's kind of like where I want to go with this because that whole sort of like the colouring, the funkiness, um, all that sort of thing is more, you know, for those sorts of generations. Um, I don't think the older generation don't really, I, don't, I can't see many elderly people wearing this glass, these type of glasses. Could you? <laughs> uh, I don't think I could. But anyway, um, that so with the um, the lettering there, the lettering actually sort of um, kind of doesn't stick out with the. Um, I mean, it's black, um, but yeah, I, I'm just going to play around with the color here. If I can, in there, edit. Uh, I don't know if I can or not. No. Okay, I'm going to leave that one. We'll just leave it like that. The other thing I want to do um, too as well, if I can in here, uh, I don't know if I can or not. I might be able to do it on the three dots. This is a background colour. All right, so let's just go out here. Uh, there, and let's go here. Let's go to the three dots and see if I can actually get some sort of background colour in there. There we go. So I'm going to go here, and I'm just going to go for a nice light colour. Nothing too um nothing too uh, dark and um I might even use the spectrum here. And so I've got like a pink going on, right? That's one of my colours. Let's have a look. We've got a green there. I don't know if that's gonna the green kind of symbolizes the eco-friendliness of the glasses, like it's you know they're using recycled material. We can do that, but I might just go kind of like an off-white if you like. And I might just hang on that one there. Or grey, yeah, maybe. 
What's going on up here? What have we got here? Mm -hmm. No. Let me go back to that one. And I'm going to do the same for here. It, it kind of sort of like um, boxes it in so that people understand, you know, that's kind of like a, um, they're all, they're, they're both separate and it doesn't blend in with the white background. That's what I'm trying to achieve here. So let's do the same on this one. And all right, so the other thing is, like, I don't know if you know this, but the colors that you use, you can save them. Now, here are my recent colors here. All right, those are my recent colors. I think that, no, that was, that was the one I used. That one there, okay, I've ticked on that one. I can add that to my favorites by simply uh, clicking on there and then adding. All right, so now that's in my favorites, and those are the colors that I'm going to stick with, with different things. Um, as I go along down the um, along down the uh, the website, and even with the pink, if I go here in the pink, click on the three dots, and go advanced color there, and I want to stick with that pink. All right, so that's this one here. You can see it's not in my recent, but I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add it to my recent by clicking on this. All right, and then. That should actually add it, hopefully. Uh, where is it? No, it went to black. <laughs> Gosh, hang on. I think it's this pink anyway. And then it hasn't gone into my into my favorites. Let's see if I can do that. And there it is. Okay, cool. So now it's there. I'm going to click on it again, and I'm just going to add it, if I can, to my favorites. Like that. So that I don't have to keep trying to look for the color all the time. I can just quickly click on it. All right. Um, as we scroll down, we've kind of done this one here. I the, the the text on here, I'm not too sure about that. I don't know whether I want it black, but I'm going to go into the three dots. I'll see if I can actually um, uh, change it. So you notice there is the text there. So it's got the title style, which is this one here. Okay. And then it's also got the subtitle style, um, which is uh, this one here. All right. So that's the style of writing and the color, obviously. Um, I'm going to play around with it a little bit and just see if it works or not in terms of what the color I want. So I'm going to go click on the color and I'm going to try that pink. Um, no, no, no. Let me try it with the other one as well. You can make it bigger too, by the way. So you can make that. And I think that looks better when it's bigger. All right. So we're gonna we're gonna do that at about 42. And then the other one, which is the subtitle. Uh let's put that up, go to the subtitle. We're gonna make that around about we did the other one 42. Let's make this uh 24. And then we're going to change that to pink as well. It didn't do. All right, let's do that again. So we're in the subtitle. Uh, and this is some of the things that can happen is that um, when you um, see that's actually got, that's actually done with the subtitle. It hasn't done it with the title title. It's done it with the title title, but it hasn't done it with the subtitle, so I'm not sure. So when this happens, I kind of like, I just want to save everything. And uh, I've said this before, just give it a bit of a refresh. Um, because sometimes those little glitches can happen. Or anomalies, I'd like to call them. I'm going to go back down to here. Back to the three dots. Let's go back to the subtitle again. It's still saying it's pink, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I go in here, there might be some colouring in there. But I don't think there is. No. But you know what? I might even just leave it as it is. And um, I'm probably going to take that out. So maybe if I um, clicked on that, clicked on here again, maybe here, there, a subtitle. Ah, I see. Okay. So what's actually happened? Is that there's nothing typed in there? You can see it on the uh, on the actual um, on on the screen, 
but it's actually not typed in the subtitle. So it's not registering when I go and try and change the color because there's nothing there to actually um, to, uh, to change. So I'm going to put what it's got in there, which is shop men's. Um, so I guess go shop men's in there and then save. And now uh, we should have that there. And we should be able to get rid of this one here. Shop men's up here. The item has a link. Oh, okay. So I'm going to get rid of this label one here. There. And then we'll save it. There we go. All right. So all of these little things, right? That's, um, the, and I, I actually recall now, I did encounter that before, but I forgot all about it. But um, yeah, all these little things that you've got to try and, um, if, you, if you're not sure about it, then it can take you a long time to sort of like figure it out. Right? You will eventually figure it out, but it might take a bit of time. It kind of did that with, um, because I spent a lot of time using Groovecart and Groove Pages and all that, I've, I've encountered a lot of these little things. And there is no instructions for this in any tutorial, right? So, you know, video tutorial, unless we do something like this, right? I'm going to do the same for this one here. So I'm going to go in here, title. I'm going to go back to the pink. And then I'm going to go, I think it was 42. And awesome. That one's done. I'm going to go back to here again, into the settings, into the edit. And remember, we have to put something in there. So we're going to put shop woman's. Um, there. And we're going to get rid of this one here. All right. And then tick. Now we can go back to here. Three dots. And now that we've got, we've actually typed it in, that's registered. And now we can just change the color. Okay. And that one there is actually a little bit bigger than that. I think it was 24. All right. I think the pink, she suits it. I didn't really like the black on it. I didn't think the black actually did it any justice. So the pink kind of, um, works and it's actually in my my color thing right and i bet yesterday some of you is thinking uh, pink really does that work <laughs> um but i kind of like it and it you know me and there are a lot of men getting into pink colors as well so um but it, it kind of draws in that funkiness that i'm trying to create here all right so now we've got all this stuff here these just get auto populated when you start actually putting product in by the way so we don't need to really do anything here at this stage until we actually get some product in. We may want to change this uh, image here. So I'm going to do that now. I've actually, I'm rehashing some images that I've used in the past for different things. So what I'm going to do on this one here, I'm going to go on here and go into here, edit. And I'm going to get rid of this image and I'm going to put one that I've actually used before. And I've taken out all the other stuff that I had on it um, and just left it with the image and um a bit of a space there so i'm going to go here i'm going to grab that image now where is it if i can find it i don't even know if i got did i bring it down wow uh, <laughs> Oh, I might have to download it. Okay, so this is good. I mean, you, you're going to sort of like see what I do anyway. Um, I'm going to go over to another tab. I'm going to go to my Canva tab. All right. Now, I love doing stuff in my Canva. It's, you know, like especially when it comes down for designing and stuff now. And um, so here, this is an image that I've used in um, like uh, different like Facebook pages cover page and all that sort of thing uh you can see here what i've done i've actually taken all this stuff out and just left this all clear because i might have some font over here or i might have some font over here all i did was flip that image around and same with this one and you can see i've got it this already had a pink color before and i thought this is actually quite funny it's got a bit of yellow in there and it, and it ties in with my funkiness right that i'm trying to actually um trying to achieve so i'm going to download this one um let's just have a look quick look at the site again 
at the one that we're trying to emulate. I don't think there's anything there that we, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to go back here. All right, so you can see how in the center there it's got the, um, the, the text. We don't have to stick with that, all right? It doesn't have to be that be like that. So what we can do, and this is actually a bit of a slide too, by the way. So I might actually use the same, the, the two images that you saw there, one pink, one blue, right, on the slide. Um, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to download these images. Um, I'm going to download this one, and then I'm going to also download uh, this one. Okay, so let's just go in that. Download. So I think this was three and uh, what is that? That is. That is. You're showing so your group one. card screen. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, there you go. Um, oh, no, you, you guys never saw this. Okay, these are the images. This is the rehash, right? So this is what I've used on the cover pages. This is, I've taken all the other busyness out of it. Same with this one here. Okay, so I'm just rehashing stuff here. So I don't have to do it all over again. All right, so it makes sense anyway to do that. So I need three and I need three and five. That's what I need to download. Three and five and actually i'm going to do them separately because that just puts it in a zip file when i do it like this i'm just going to download it download them separately can't be bothered with zip files all right so that's that one there cool save and then i'm going to go back to this one that was three and oh actually that was geez which one did i just download oh and this one here that one that one okay all right Okay, let me go back to the um, page here. On the slide here, I'm just going to, I'm going to keep the slide. So on the slide here, I'm going to um, uh, go into the three dots. I'm going to edit it, and I'm going to get rid of that image, and I'm going to get the image that we just actually done. So delete that, and go to the images that I had before. Oh, it looks like I actually done, I done one, I done the same one twice. Okay, but anyway, I'm going to put this one on. Actually, just a sec. Hold it. Might be sick. I need to get this one down. Sorry, you can't see this because I'm. I don't really need to show you this, but um, I'm just going to quickly do something here. All right. All right, let's get back. All right, there. Okay, so now I'm going to get that. I want the pink one up first um, instead of the blue one. So I'm going to put this one on there. Cool. And there. And then on the... Um, on the uh, on the other slide which is the this one here edit that delete it upload the blue image all right and let's just close that so when we see go there cool all right, I can actually quite like that keep moving, but um, I could put something there that kind of like keep moving with, I don't know, funky glasses or cool glasses or whatever. But anyway, like, um, so uh, what I can do with this text is maybe like align it to the left. 
So the good moving one, if I go to edit and see if I can actually do it to the left, which, which I might not be able to do it in here. So let's go to the three dots because I really don't want to have it over that. If I have to, I will, but uh, let me just have a look. Oh, yeah, but I can. So I can move it over. All right, and that's where I want to have it. I um, probably want to have a bit of a space on that. I'm just going to make that, say, 50. All right, the button, uh, obviously the button will need to move. Whether or not I can do that on this, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to go to advanced styling and see if the button can be moved on this part here, which I don't think so. So let's go into go out of that and then go into here, see if it can be done on here. Uh, no. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to actually uh, probably either leave it or just get rid of it. Uh, Okay, so the, the link style, that's black. Oh, here we go. It didn't say button, it said link. So I'm just going to shift that over there and then I'm going to put a gap in there of, I think it was 50. Okay, I don't know. Oh, that's the 36. Let's try the outside there, 50. Yeah, cool. Okay. And we're just pretty much going to do the same for the next slide. Here, we're going to put it over the other side. So again, we're going to click on here, go to the three dots. And uh, go to the title and then go to, uh, oh, what's happened here? Oh, okay. We need to go on that page here. There, that's what I'm after. Let's move the other one. Okay. Mm. Subtitle, link style, advanced style. We'll, oh, actually, we'll go subtitle. Go in there. But we're just going to leave that for now. If I have to actually just get rid of the other one, I will. Um, you know, I may not need it. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I'm going to just stick with this one here. I could even just make it just one, you know, just one uh, one image. But uh, I will probably change the other one out. Um, you know, or even get the other image that I had downloaded facing this other way. But anyway, you get the picture. All right. So here we have collection list again. Um, these are actually basically um, uh, products, if you like. So if you click on here, uh, oh, actually this one here, these ones here are actually just images. You can actually put images in here, but I'm just trying to, I'm wondering why it doesn't show the individual ones. I think that whole thing is an image. All right, that one's an image. Okay, right. All right, obviously it's for sunglasses, so uh, let me just see if I've got something there. I'm going to upload an image, and let's do these ones. All right. All right. So that's one, and then I'll do another one. Another two more. Obviously, it pays to have these images, right? Um, already ready. There. All right. I might actually change that one. And I'll change it to this one. All 
right. And then this one here. Okay, so I've got three images in there, you know, I could put stuff in there, I don't know, um, but at the end of the day, um, that probably one is a little bit out of, um, uh, doesn't, doesn't suit, so I'm just going to change that one, and let's do this one, cool, all right, so three images there, um, and then, I don't know, I might put some something about um, in, in the text there uh, about it being recycled material, stuff like that. And then I'll probably put more like images of people wearing sun sunglasses in here. All right. So I think I might actually have some, I'm not sure. But let me just have a quick look. Uh, I do actually. Hang on. I'm going to change those out. So I'm just going to grab these. Slide one. Slide one. Okay. Slide one. Here. And then edit. Get rid of that. Get rid of these images. Uh, yeah. Now, probably the wrong image to use for this time of the year for the US because it looks like it's all summery, but it's not. Obviously, over there, we are going into your fall. I did actually try to, um, and if you didn't notice, up here, I tried to actually um, also um, give you give people the idea that it's actually you're in your fall, right, or you're getting into your winter because they're wearing jackets and not and. I've, in a in a beanie and all that sort of thing so you know i mean you don't want to look at people that are actually on the on the beach um with sunglasses on when you live when you live in the us and it's actually fall and not summer so you know those sorts of things so i'm very mindful about the images that i use in my header um because it's a psychological thing when people are actually looking at your website um so i'm very mindful those are the sorts of things that i think about all right um so we go down here, that, that's one image there. It's not so bad when they're all down here, so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not too phased about that. Oh, we go down there. Oh, here, here we go. Then I'm going to go to slide two, edit, and get rid of this one here, and another one. I think we're going to have to put the guy in the middle. I've only got one guy and two girls in here, so bit outnumbered. Uh, yeah, they're not the they're not the best, but at the end of the day, hey, who cares? Um, um, this is just a demo. I'll probably get better ones at some point, but um, because I'm actually looking at um making the site go live. All right. I don't really need to tell you about all the different things that you need to, when it comes to images, what you put in there and stuff like if there's um, an area where, or a space where, a field where you can put alternative text, then put it in there. Now, you can see that it's got four uh, slides. I'm just going to get rid of this one and leave that one out. Okay. So, like I said, again, not the greatest. Let me just see if I can actually do a background on this. I don't think I can. Uh, no, I can't. One of it gives me the option over here. Uh, let's just try this. All right, I'm going to go with that color there that I had before. Mm. Uh, it's okay, I guess. Just sort of breaks it up a wee bit. The logos, you know what? Um, you can actually put logos in here because there are some actually brand ones in there that are um, not brands that you're probably familiar with. But I'll show you the site very shortly and um, we'll, we'll we'll leave it at that because basically we're, we're pretty much finished, right? 
um, in a sense. Like there's the only thing that really needs to be done now is just um, all the links and just the text and all that. And I'll probably do that um, at some point um, before our next uh, session tomorrow. But you get the idea. So what we've actually got now, and I'm going to save this and then refresh here and just see what that is all, what this all looks like live. Well, you know. All right. There's one more thing I'm going to show you, by the way. No, it's not bad. At the end of the day, there's stuff in there that I can actually sort out and fix or um, modify a wee bit. There's one more thing that I'm going to put in there. And I'm just going to stick it above this one here. So I'm going to add a element and, uh, sorry, a container. There. Yeah. Drop that in there. Then I'm going to add an element. And where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here we go. The HTML code. Oh, I'm on there, and then I'm going to put an HTML code in here. All right. Uh, let me just get that. By the way, I'm going to make this available for you guys. You probably need to change things in it, but um, to actually suit yours. But if you're doing some classes, then it might suit. This is an HTML code. I'm just going to pop it in here. This is text scrolling, right? Um, now, when you when you when you pop it in there, make sure that you need to actually like you can see it. I'm probably going to go a line up, so I'm going to go backspace. It needs to know that you inputted something. So if you just copy and paste, that's not going to know. So um, you can do the backspace, do a space, and go backspace again just to make sure that it understood that you've actually put something in there, and then go on the tick there. And that should work. Let's just save that. You won't be able to see it in here. And let's just go back up here. And I'm going to refresh the page. And there you go. All right, so I'm going to get rid of this here. I don't know why that's there. <laughs> but virtually that will do that. Uh, oh, did you see that at all? Let me just have a look. Share this tab. There we go. So there's the uh, scrolling text. But... Um, Somehow it's got this in here, and I think that might be in the in the code. So I'm just going to go back to the code. I'm going to leave it like that on that page there for now while I adjust this. Yeah, I did. I actually, it was part of the HTML. That's why it's showing. Okay, cool. Done that. Save. Go back to here. Hopefully you guys can see that one. Okay, I'm just going to refresh this. And I don't think, there we go. So just a, a little something. It's not part of, obviously, it's not part of the elements in, um, in GrooveCut, but it can add a nice little movement into your, into your website. Um, and it's actually identifying all the different things, all the features really of these glasses, polarized lenses. UV protection, uh, lightweight frame, um, and all that sort of thing. So it's just scrolling on the top, and it's just something, just a little sort of um, a little bit of um, puts a bit of an edge to your website. All right. So uh, one more thing before I go, I'm going to show you that website. That is actually called um, Solar, or Solo Solus, I think it's called. Yep. There we go. And if I go to the home page. Um, You'll see here all the different things. It's got loads of different funky um, um, glasses as well. Come into here. You've got things like um, whatever shape you want, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I haven't read through all these ones here, but I went to the info and the product information, and this is what sold me on it, right, was the fact that it's actually got an eco component to it. 
And if I go into here, you can come down to recycled sunglasses and you go there. And I'll show you all the eco friendly sunglasses, all the plastic, all the, the, the frame and all that is made out of recycled material, um, which I've, and even some of the lenses is actually done. That. Anything that's got an eco sign on it is an eco friendly glass. So that's the other thing that sold me on it, you know, and it makes it a bit different from all these other ones that are sort of selling high brands and stuff like that. Um, and like I said before, uh, you can go here and you go printed sunglasses. And you can actually get ones with the prints on them, right? And on the bag, as well as on the um, fold case, um, things like that. If you don't want it on the glasses, um, then you can have it in these sorts of things, right? The cleaning cloths. So you can put your brand on here. And that's exactly what I'm going to do with the site. I'm going to actually brand it, right? Now, here's the thing. There's a choice. I can either do it by drop um, um, user site as a drop shipping site, or I can use it as a supplier site to retailers uh, because they actually have like um, some good prices on bulk, like 25 lots. And the prices are not bad. I mean, I'll log in and then you'll be able to see. The prices are actually not so bad. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't even know. Did I actually? Um, Hopefully. Oh, give me, just give me a sec, guys. Sorry, I know we're getting a bit close to finishing. Okay. You come. And then sign in. So the prices aren't so bad. And let's go to printed sunglasses. Uh, earn pounds. You can change the um, you can change the currency, obviously. So I'm just going to go US. Find it USD, and that should change the currencies. So you have a look at that dollar sixty five uh, for that, right? Oh, the printing. I, I don't actually. I'm not too sure if that's actually for the. I don't think that's for the glasses. I think that's for the printing. All right, not for the glasses. Um, so that that's on top of the glasses. All right. But if you want to have a look at what the glasses are, we'll just go to best sellers. So you can add that on. Um, but like I said, like the prices are not too bad, three dollars something. And then you've got wholesale prices as well. Um, so you know, like, and if you're if you're looking at doing like branded stuff, um, then you can do that as well. Uh, everything's all in all in here anyway. You can like frequency uh, frequently answered questions or questions asked questions. I should say. Um, yeah, that's all there anyway. So what I'm going to do, I've actually got more links to add to the um, to the uh, sheets that I gave you guys. And in fact, I've, I'm going to get the, um, I'm going to share the link to you. And uh, there's a few documents in there um, that have sort of information about this week's um, tra training, as well as some handy links um, and some resources links. And it's also got that HTML code for the scrolling text. All right, so um, that's all going to be there. Uh, if I just quickly show you, it'll be in the drive. It'll be in a, in a folder. And uh, where are we? Try and find the permanent folder now. Not that one. There we go. Oh, okay. My drive. Sorry, guys. I'm just actually. I've got so many folders. I'm just looking for it. Okay, here we go. So uh, I've given you. I'm going to get the link for you guys. But um, there's uh, resources, um, documentation, uh, resources one, two, and then we've got the history about the drop shipping sort of thing and. Um, you know how it came about, how it started, and all that sort of stuff. So you're going to have access to that, and also you got because you've got access, you're going to be able to see the updates that I put in there. So better than just giving you the word doc, right? Um, so this is much much better. All right, so let me just get. Um, I'm going to go back one here. Oop. 
And let me just so that you guys can click on this now. Again, there we go. Share, copy link. And I'm going to put that in the chat. Actually, is it, do, does the um, chat show up on the recording? Um, okay, cool. Because I don't really want to give it to anybody who hasn't actually been in these um, in these sessions. There we go. So there's the, the link to that folder um, with those documents. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop now. Stop presenting. All right. All right. If you've got any uh, questions, just quickly ask me now. Um, we've still got one more day to go and uh, tomorrow, and um, we're going to be going through the products and stuff like that. And some of the stuff that we need to put into the store information, um, you know, if I probably gave my store maybe another a day or so to um, to do things, then I'll probably have it all completed. But you can virtually complete a store um, within a week. Uh, because I'm been uh, sort of going through it with you guys, it's taken me taking me longer, but um, I can virtually do it within a week, even within three days sometimes. But you've seen how I operate, you see how I work, and you kind of get the idea what you can do. Um, this whole over the shoulders probably better than doing step by step stuff that um, you know instructional stuff. So th this is probably a better way. You get an idea, and I think you're going to have access to the recordings anyway. So. That's me. Is there any questions? It says messages are being recorded with call. Ah. They're not going to be on the video. I did have a question with the um when you're replacing the when you're placing the images, do you have to take mm. note of the pixel sizes? So your image that you're replacing it with is the same exact size? Yep. Yep. So um yeah. I mean you can take note of the size that you of the image that you're replacing and then you can adjust your um sizes through a um you know like a uh a, an editor i suggest you do that anyway um i didn't do that obviously but um they were close enough the great thing about with um groove is that it converts the images into um the um webp um mm -hmm. images so it, it keeps it at a, at a nice sort of like um cloudy but it, you know it condenses it a wee bit so that it actually is not you know um it's not going to take up much resources if you like so yeah they've they've um they've put it into the uh, platform that any even if it's a jpeg the images would uh, automatically be um um transformed into webp images okay. uh so says, peter can create store in a week <laughs> it's going to take quite a longer some many buttons um yeah look at the end of the day you know um you can see what it, what you can produce and i'll kind of showing you things that you you won't see anywhere else and so yeah i mean just go back keep referring back to the video all the time what else is here that's it okay that's all the questions and karen i'm going to leave it up to you um to finish off thank you thanks guys right. for, for being here today by the way Thank you very much, Peter. Nice round of, of applause for Peter. Each and every day that we've gotten bonuses for being here in the room. And that's why it's so important to be here in the room so you can receive those bonuses that Peter's been giving out every single day to help you with your journey of creating your groove store, your groove cart store. And like you said, it takes about a week about a week to do it and he's giving you tips and tricks and resources all along the way so if you're not here in the room you are definitely missing out so next time be in the room we have one more day one more day and that will be it so if you have any questions or anything like that please bring them because this is the time in order to ask your questions while we have the expert here now also you know groove asia we like to keep you going we like to keep you growing also, and in, in keeping you going and growing, we also have the BTR webinar that's going to be coming up, and we're going to be doing it live. So if you can go to our calendar, which is at groovasia.cm forward slash events for the Mastermind Retreat, and see a little bit about it. Uh, it is coming up in November, 
If you have any questions there, we'll be able to answer your questions. Um, there, I'll be there, Peter will be there because he's been on the BTRs, the breakthrough retreats uh, in the past. So we've had to. And so if you have any questions, you'll be able to answer those also. All right, so that winds us up at the end of this, of in day four of the five day challenge. And we will see you again at the same time, same channel tomorrow for our, our last and final day of this five day challenge as we wind up teaching about GrooveCart and e commerce. So have a great rest of your morning, mm -hmm. afternoon, or evening, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.